All right. Hey, hi, hello, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you're doing well. And it's time for a bit of a reaction, a bit of a commentary uh, to a rap disc that I let slip by me over the past week, but I'm catching up to it now. I did comment on this a little bit on TikTok, and it's uh, Eminem, Mr. Nem. Nem Nem. He and Dr. Dre recently signed a new artist by the name of Easy Mill uh, to their record label, Shady Records. And I've heard some of the guy's stuff. It's okay. Uh, seems like the kind of artist Eminem would promote, if that means anything to you. Uh, now, to sort of celebrate this new signing, of course, he uh, comes out with a new track. It features Eminem. Makes sense. Eminem wants to draw attention to this guy's stuff. And to make this feature, on the Easy Mail Cut. Even more of a must listen, Eminem is throwing out some shots. Now, before getting into those shots, I will say, I feel like he kind of, you know, shot his own uh, motivations here in the foot by doing this because uh, then as a result of that, the song itself and Easy Mill became the least talked about thing uh, in regards to this track. But yeah, Eminem threw out some shots on the song and was essentially, you know, responding to some recent criticisms he's been getting from the likes of the game, as well as, uh, you know, uh, rap legends such as Melly Mel, Mel, he especially put his name in the dirt and uh, made fun of him for uh, some alleged steroid use. He didn't pull any punches. He was irreverent as usual. And I actually think it was one of his more solid features in a while. So the feature came and the feature went. And, uh, you know, I personally wasn't really expecting uh, much from that situation immediately, maybe eventually like a response from the game, considering how much uh, around the cycle of his last album, he was kind of going at Eminem. But no, right out of the gate. In response to this song, we actually get a diss track from Melly Mel. Sampling this may be totally unnecessary at this point because word's kind of already gotten around that this uh, diss track sucks. sucks. And not just because, you know, we've seen like rap Twitter tearing it apart or anything like that. Uh, Melly Mel himself has actually gone on the record uh, saying he's disappointed in the quality of the track. So even when the man who made the diss in, in a field like hip hop has to like fess up and put his ego in his pocket and and like you know come to terms with the fact that the diss was trash you know it's bad even some of the worst disses and responses uh, at least had the artists who made them standing behind them proudly but Melly Mel on this one has already given up ground so I'm <laughs> not anticipating a lie here no apologies to say the disclaimer I'm the king of legend the first hall of famer making diss tracks I know you with that now everybody get ready for the kickback uh, okay. Um, first off, this diss only looks to be a minute and 16 seconds, which like how you're dissing M Manem, like as great and as talented and as groundbreaking as Eminem and his legend are, uh, he is handily like, you know, one of the top rappers out there when it comes to like having embarrassing and just awful shit out there about him. There are Eminem haters who could write entire books on all the things they hate about Eminem and you just give us a minute 16 and the first 12 seconds of that is taken up by this old school flow back to the day when it was a huh, buh, 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 buh. It reminds me of that Hannibal Burris bit on <laughs> hip hop. It started out in the park. <laughs> Which like a lot of that old school shit I love and it's amazing and I own those records and I love those records. And and look, I love old like Grandmaster Flash shit as well. But this is uh this is not it. Like nobody's hearing this flow in 2023 and thinking like, oh man, he's about to melt this M&M's candy coated shell and the guns like obviously you know i get it the kickback from like you know a gun you're shooting and you're firing uh, the guns sound like trash like the the gun firing is the beat awful why you hurt why you mad you look bad you look like a roach cl climbed out your book bag what does someone look like when a roach climbs out of their book bag i mean they probably look grossed out Either that or they wouldn't, which I mean, that would be weird, but like, is that an insult? You look like a camel walked into your garage. Is Melly Mel trying to make himself sound old on this song? He just sent Eminem to bed with no supper. How did he not reference the spaghetti there? It would have been amazing. The top five is cat, you the piss, the soda bowl, and the elevator of rap. 
You're the piss that's on the floor of the elevator of rap. Such a convoluted simile. <laughs> what? What? You ducking on the game with your shit on my name. Why they put Pee Wee Herman in the Hall of Fame? Oh, oh man. Pee Wee Herman. Um... <laughs> Oh no, Eminem's career's over now. To the degree that Melly Mel is illustrating Eminem as being like, you know, a really silly, goofy guy who uh, maybe you shouldn't take too seriously. Even Eminem doesn't take himself that seriously. He's always saying some dumb, goofy shit in his songs. If you recognize and acknowledge that he's uh, kind of a clown, you compare him to a guy who's funny for a living, in a way that's only a compliment. And again, even in the 80s, if you swung this bad at Eminem, it, it just kind of comes across as like, very schoolyard. You know, Pill Clinton and Pill Gates it is genuinely funny. But again, there's a lot of dirt out there about Eminem and like we're 42 seconds in and we're just now getting to like something personal, but it's, it's like one of the most well-known things about Eminem's personal life that he's rapped about multiple times. And that's kind of the thing about Eminem. Like, even though there is a lot of dirt and embarrassing stuff about him out there, oftentimes he has written about and made songs about that stuff. And it's so like in the public consciousness and Eminem has sort of showed everybody that like, he doesn't really care that people know this stuff at this point. So it's, it's kind of like, you can't even attack him on it effectively. Like, Obviously, you could bring it up. You could draw attention to it. You could do a fun little pun with it like Melly Mel did here. But again, in his own music, Eminem has already effectively profited off of you know, these, these tragic lows in his life. Uh, there's nothing really that this song can take away from that. Hit a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like we're, we're, we're really ending things with a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're counting like it's a goddamn Sesame Street episode. Melly Mel. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that diss track sucked. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, that was terrible. That was trash. That was shit. We've seen some kind of piss poor and mediocre diss tracks as of late. And y you know what? I, th I think the prime issue is, is that a, a lot of these rappers, they're very eager to get back at the person who's dissing them and they, they rush it out. They rush it out. They, they don't worry about writing a proper track, a proper song, because, you know, it's, it's not just about the dissing. It's not just about the insults. It's about also making a track, uh, that is so catchy. It sticks in people's heads. So as a result, the disses stick in people's heads. There's not shit on the song that you want to remember. Believe me flows on this sucked beat on this sucked. The insults were laughable at best. And, uh, yeah, this, this was not not a good diss. Very, very sad diss and a very sad day uh, for old school golden age hip hop greats. This wasn't really entirely necessary. Like a guy like Melly Mel, his influence, his impact on the genre uh, is, is there now and forever, uh, regardless of who disses him or how hard they diss him or whatever. There's nothing really that can take that away from him. And there's nothing that uh, a diss song, even a good diss song could do uh, to, you know, basically cement his uh, place in hip hop history any further. Truly and honestly, a dude like him, even if he is very old headed and does have his head up his butt sometimes, because, you know, Eminem is not the only uh, rapper uh, who's reached classic status and uh, has, has put out great work over the years, who he's uh, dissed. At the end of the day, a guy like Melly Mel, all he really has to do is like sit back and just be like, well, you know, listen, uh, I helped start the shit. So I can say whatever the hell I want to say about Eminem in whatever interview, because I've, I've earned uh, the place and the spot and the position to do that. But instead of taking that position of confidence, Melly Mel overextended himself here with a very crap diss track. And, um, you know, Hopefully uh, we can forget about it as soon as possible and move on with our lives. Thank you very much for watching. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Uh, Anthony Fantano, kick back uh, forever.